Hello everybody, today I want to give a uh, demonstration how to use the uh, autofocus for planets, or today uh, the sun. On the screen you see uh, CCD CL, and we already have the sun in, uh, uh, on the screen, and we'll try to focus on it. Let me first tell you something about my setup. I have an uh, outside in the garden a uh, shed with, uh, with a uh, mount and a 100 mm telescope. And normally I uh, image deep sky, but today we put a uh, Bader Sun film filter in front of it. So this is the, the filter, and I put on every other part uh, which faces the sun uh, some aluminium uh, foley. Also the, the guide uh, telescope to prevent that they heat up and, uh, and then, then they could uh, spoil the seeing. The same I put some aluminium uh, film or foley on the, on the filter uh, wheel. So that's uh, my setup. And of course there's a small, uh, well small and old desktop uh, in the same shed. And we look now via remote desktop to this desktop and we can see uh, what the camera this is the camera, an AC 1600 uh, mono, or black and white camera. And the telescope is now uh, facing the sun. You can see the shadow behind. The sun is uh, pretty low. It's about uh, 20 and something degrees above horizon. Yes, so it's, 20, so it's already going down. It's winter. Well, almost. Uh, it's. Uh, 7th of November 2020, so it's, uh, it's a winter sun, so low. So let's start quickly. Uh, what I've done, I have set in preferences for autofocus this option. I've set it on planet. Normally I use dynamic, then you look to uh, the half flux diameter of stars, but planet is a different uh, method. We look to the, to the sharpness of the image. So the, the difference between dark and bright areas is detected, and if it's a sharp, uh, uh, let's say, difference, then then it it will uh, give a lower value. If it's smoother, so out of focus, it will give a higher value. So that is the the focus method. So planet. Everything is connected. So let's. Yeah, let's first zoom into the sun. Sun. Uh, my my setup is for deep sky, so uh, the focal length is about 580 millimeters. So not so uh, well suited for the sun, but uh, I put uh, the binning on one times one, and a very short exposure time because it's a very sensitive camera of 0.2 milliseconds. Now let's zoom in and see what we uh, can see in the sun. For the first time since months we can see some sunspots. That's why we today will try this out. And we go to this step and let's try autofocus. I don't see my window. I think it will show as soon as I click on this one, I hope so. Let's see. Yes, there is the, the the graph for the for the focus. We can make it a little bit bigger. So So there's the graph. We can have it sideways. Connection is not super, but okay. You can see it's out of focus. The focus is, mo is now moving to position 62,000 and something. And here you can see the first measurement. The difference between uh, focus and not focus will not be great or large. And uh, but it will still work. So we're approaching now the focus position and the uh, the measured value 
about 20 is going down uh, slowly. I think I've uh, programmed uh, 13 steps. So now it goes a little bit uh, down. That's good. You can see, of course, of the in the sun, the, the sunspots are getting uh, sharper. It's getting better. I think we almost reached uh, the best focus point. Remember, we, we, uh, the sun is very low, about 20 degrees, so the seeing is not optimum. optimal. And we passed the best focus. It's not a perfect graph, but yeah, it's better than nothing, and I think it will still work with, uh, with the autofocus routine. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so 3 more points I think. The focus is now almost till the maximum. I think the maximum is 65,000. And we should not hit that, hopefully. Okay, so it's going out of focus and the curve goes up again. It's not a perfect uh, hyperbolic curve, but it will still work. Maybe the step size was too big, but we can try that later if it works better. But it, the, the curve fitting will still work. So there's the, the, the curve fitting. I think the focus will be found here. What does it says? It goes to uh, 63151. And we get a new image of the, of the sun. There we are. So it's uh, sharp, I think. Good enough for some some pictures. So let's uh, keep this focus and let's take some images. I will take five images of. Oh, that is even too much. It will be over. Uh, it will be saturated. 0.2 milliseconds, and let's take some images. I think I have to drink something because my voice is my voice is not uh, optimum today. I take a short break. Okay, we had our meridian flip, and uh, let's uh, try now to focus again. So go to the focus tab, and let's click on autofocus and try again. Let's zoom, zoom in also a little bit. It's very sluggish. It's an old compu uh, desktop computer with only 2 gigabyte of memory. And uh, also the Wi-Fi connection is not, uh, not so good. And let's also zoom in to the graph which it will build. Okay. So it's moving to uh, to the positions.
The altitude of the, of the sun is uh, going down, it's only 19 degrees, so we have to hurry. Okay, let's zoom a little bit and then let's try to uh, autofocus. The sun is uh, going down, so we have to hurry, it's only 19 degrees above horizon. Luckily the sunspots are good visible currently. Okay. Now let's uh, then try to autofocus. Okay, so we just click on this uh, button and it will uh, take uh, nine exposures and move every time uh, the focuser to, an, uh, to another position. Of course you need for this an uh, Focuser with a with a with a motor uh, drive. And let's show the graph so we can see what's happening. So it's moving to position uh, 62,231. You can see that the sunspots are uh, out of focus now. And then it will move uh, step by step to the focus positions and measure the, the, the sharpness, which is in this case still present as half flux diameter, but it uh, is the same. So we, we come in close to the focus position and uh, the value is going down. The image is uh, sharper now. It will probably not a nice uh, hyperbolic, uh, but uh, reasonable enough to uh, have a curve fit and find the best position. It looks like we passed now the, the best focus position, so around 63,000. And it's moving up again. Okay. Almost to the last step. I think I've programmed nine steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two more steps. And then we'll find uh, the best focus. Okay, so it's uh, ready. It uh, tried to put a uh, hyperbolic around it, and it says the best position is a little bit less than 63,000. It's moving to that position, and we'll get a uh, final image. And let's see if it's sharp. There we are. We are in focus. And let's take some images and see how the, the quality is. Okay, I have to zoom in again. So, remember we are only 19 degrees, a little bit more uh, above horizon. It's winter, 7th of November. So the seeing is not uh, not so perfect. But yeah, it's the first time we. Uh, I've seen sunspots and so on, so it's a good opportunity to try it. So let's take uh, five images of... Uh, I have to program again the same exposure, so this is uh, 0.2 milliseconds, binning one time one. And let's take five images. And see how they look like. It's a uh, deep sky camera, so downloading is uh, takes time. It's not a uh, webcam or a fast camera, but it still works. It is uh, almost two o'clock now. The sun uh, altitude is now uh, 
down to about 17 degrees. The seeing is getting worse and also the results are worse. So I think it's time to stop. I hope you like this demonstration and uh, I'd like to thank you for your attention.